Next message. this because I've been killing her because I just realized she ain't been really having sunlight and I feel like that may be the missing ingredient so but this is cute but I was coming so just finished getting my back brakes fixed number one ugh, I'm so mad that I had to pay the price for the part because baby I only paid basically $60 for my brakes. I paid $250 for these fucking brakes. So these brakes better be fucking awesome, okay? That's number one. And number two is like, he didn't have enough lug nuts and I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow for him. And I'm like, do I have to come back? <laughs> and I'm happy. Because I want him to know, I don't want to be here. I, like, I want to let him know, I don't want to come here any more than you want to see my fucking face. So, yes, when I did that, I'm like, wow. And it just came out so effortless, effortlessly. Like, nigga, yeah, I want you to know. But, and that's just how God works in mysterious ways. So, and then I'm like, okay, well, then I'll be back on Monday to let you know, like, my nigga. So, yeah, because, like, one thing I did make sure, like, I made sure I was good from the start to end. And when I say I looked like the boss ass bitch that I was, like, yeah, what I did, it was intentional for myself, but intentional for you to see, like, my nigga, I'm just not out, out here just spreading my legs for everything. Like, I'm working hard for this shit. So 100%, I made sure they seen me put my business card shit to fucking get her, okay? I may, I need you to see it. I'm a hustling ass bitch. I don't give a fuck type of shit. And I did that shit. 100 years later, but I did that shit. <laughs> but no, I had to come and say this for myself because in me playing my vlogs, I'm actually helping myself and keeping myself accountable. So whether this kicks off or not, it don't matter, which I've been saying this because it's for my kids, but it's for me too. Like I really be heeding the shit I say and the shit I be going through, it never fails. When I hear the vlog, I be needing that shit. So baby, <laughs> I'm my best, 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 best motivator because I've always had to be that way. And yeah, be your own motivator.
Okay, so I got me a wax kit for everything, really. Mainly my vagina. I really enjoy waxing my vagina. I did it once, and I'm in love with it. So I want to do it myself. Um, now that I know, I'm actually doing it right. So it came with three waxes, which I think I want to save the pretty colors for last. <laughs> um, these little balls right here, I suppose. They go in here. Oh, what is this? Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay, so this is the hot plate, I guess. Hair removing waxing kit. What is this? And this is... Okay, so it looks like this is already another one. I wasn't expecting that. But what are these bowls for? I don't know what these bowls are for. So I'm about to read the instructions. I know this goes for something right here. So yeah, I'm about to read these instructions. Okay, so for the most part, this is how this goes. And I, like I said, I suppose this is actual wax. So I wasn't expecting this. But I'm here for it. And this is what this handle is for. These are disposable little thingies that you can put in here. And then um, you pour your little racks in there. Same thing. You use this thingy right here. You put it right here. Which that has more than enough space. So... I'm about to basically heat her up. Oh, and then this right here is for your stick. Like, so you won't make a mess. You just drag it on there to kind of clean it up before you actually apply it. So that's that. And then after you're done waxing, this is a little spray that you can put on afterwards. So that's that. I'm going to go find me a spot to warm it up um, because I've been ready to wax my little cooter and stuff. Um, yeah, we gonna okay, play. so I don't know if this is actually the right way or not, but honestly, my thought process is I use this to dispose of the wax that I no longer want. So, I don't know if that's the right way, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So, once this is like pretty much over and done with for the most part, um, I'm just going to dispose of whatever left over into this so I can trash it. And then be mindful if you do get your waxing. One of the best things that you can remember is each time you stick your stick in there, you use another stick. So, never put in the same stick. Um, especially if you end up like doing your friends, family, like sanitary wise, um, if in cosmetology school, this is like one of the number one rules is you only stick your finger, your comb, your utensil, your, your stick, whatever you have to stick into your product, that is only to be stuck into the product one time and then you get a fresh one. So same thing for waxing. You only use one stick at a time. Throw each one out and repeat that process. So, um, although this is enough for right now, honestly, I'll go back. I can go to like the arts and crafts store and buy this, or just honestly buy you some more in bulk um, on Amazon. And then also, if you're you have a good sturdy hand, you can actually break the big one in half and use one side each side or if you can remember just literally use one side then flip use this side so yeah i can't believe he really be sitting in front of the thing like i'm so shocked like he is literally sitting in front of this with his treat and live into the log love that for him Good morning. Good mo out morning. <laughs> you came in here for your treat. Good morning. <laughs> Look how excited he is. <laughs> Look at that tail. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. <laughs> Thing. The cat is following them. Oh, that's so cute. Aww. Aww. Um.
down. Oh, oh, did I get that hole? Hold on. Okay, so I know I mentioned something with oh, the mangoes was from Peru. These grapes are from Peru. And no wonder I love these grapes because I really don't like grapes no more. Like grapes really have turned me off. But that one pet, um brand of grapes that's from California. So I was looking to see if these were from California. It's the uh it's a product of Florida, but it comes from Peru, which of course if you know that app <laughs> makes fucking sense, right? So yeah. No wonder I like these grapes. And let me see, let me see, let me see. What did I buy? What did I buy? I did. Let's see if these mangoes are from Peru. Uh, let's see, let's see. Watch, it ain't gonna have one. It should, because I rung it up. There we go. This is, it don't set. But that looked like it's the Caribbean. Oops, sorry yeah if you look at that little picture that picture looks real caribbean-ish so we're gonna say it's from the caribbean something all right so i'm about to start waxing myself i got alexis alexis rebecca vlog going on right now and i got me going on right now and i'm just so flabbergasted about how every time i come in here he's always laying in the way where he's mindful of this love that for us so yeah this is my little I gotta take the trash out so I don't worry about none of that. Make it some lunch. So I don't have to be there till like 1.30. Got my chicken soaking. So yeah, I'm about to wax myself real quick so I can go take a shower. Let's see how this goes. chicken salad oh this gonna be so good so i'm letting her boil she needs some more time that's for sure she's still hard and this is chicken breast um cut up sorry about the screen um it's chicken breast cut up i was real picky with getting <laughs> my chicken breast so out of all the chicken i saw the chicken breast cut up like this was like the only one that looked at eatable and even now this lady was talking to me and she scared me about the chicken already so now i'm like slightly paranoid but i'm trying to be positive because like my intuition was like that's just nothing but the devil that's nothing but the devil just trying to you know knock me off of my positive flow and she was a nice lady we talked it was nothing negative it was just more like in a be mindful be careful type of way but for me because you know you don't want your anxiety to get the best of you most definitely like i took heed but i was like i think that's just the devil trying to fuck with me because i've been trying to make this chicken salad for like probably a, a month, probably two months now. So yeah. Alrighty now. He just knew that he had some food. That's all that is. He knew that he's he knew this was his. And honestly, I think he smelled that it was something that he's used to as well. Okay, so here I don't know if anybody struggles with buying their groceries and like not buying too much, but buying just enough. Especially if you're single. But regardless, single, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, it still works. You just double what you eat. And what they eat and just put that shit together like that but this is what's the importance of writing a list so this is my list I think I have this list for about a good week maybe a week and a half so I finally went to the store didn't have this list but even in the midst of me just grabbing shit I end up getting the things that were on the list so grapes strawberries um I brought double avocado. I ha had a lot of avocados that I kept forgetting about. So avocados, I'm like more than good on that right now. Um, 
And then I got my lettuce, didn't even eat my lettuce, so that was a waste of money. And so now my list is down to four things and one um errand that has errand thing basically. Like when I go to the beauty supply store, that is me shopping. So yeah. <laughs> so I do wanna get my cookies. Ooh, thank you. Hold on, I gotta write. Because I've been wanting this for the longest and I keep forgetting every time I go to the store to grab a box. So let me write. Brownies. Yes. Because we've been wanting this for a minute. <laughs> I'm watching this video and at this exact moment that she's explaining where she caught her husband being unfaithful. This is literally, as she's talking, this is exactly how I found out that my ex was basically being a dog-ass nigga. <laughs> and, like, literally, down to, like, the trust part that the dude had on us to be just sloppy with it. You know what I mean? everything like i didn't even have to finish this video to know exactly the rest of this story <laughs> he been hounding me for my food and this dude is knocked out just a fat ass but watch this watch this snoopy good job good job that's good boy so yes this is my garbage disposal Good job. Good boy. Ready? Good job. Ready? Last one. Good job. No more. That's it. Okay. That's it. Bye bye. No more. No more. No more. Bye. Bye. There's no more. That's it. Night night. Go back to sleep. Like super, super good. Ooh. Then I ended up getting a lemonade. If you're a drinker and you want to get effects for your liver, this is why I got that oil. Now, I'm not a drinker, but anything that's helpful to a body part that can get damaged the easiest well organ that can be damaged the easiest um i know a lot of people are drinkers not saying you need to drink this but a hundred percent like just inhaling this is giving you that benefits for your liver so go search this um if i make a if i make an instagram highlight with this i'll be sure to share it um but I did take some screenshots of some benefits if I um, make it this far to editing and watching this. I'll maybe try to put in my screenshots of the benefits that I actually am going to be writing down. But yes, this is a good oil. This is a powerful oil. This is a strong oil. Like literally, um, if you're someone who doesn't like chemicals or sensitive to chemicals, this is a good oil to... Um, make a cleaner with um it has all the anti oral benefits <laughs> so yeah um i did a v-steam last night with this pot and um i always add like some i always add lavender vanilla a little patchouli because patchouli i use patchouli for um my blood pressure um just in general i love the way it smells uh patchouli mix is good with vanilla lavender um if i'm not mistaken patchouli and lavender is what makes up um bath and bodies works um comfort so that's also why i love it um but um I just occasionally mix different things in it. I did some rosemary. I didn't look at these benefits because I didn't have any really specific oils that um, for the herbs that they normally use. But 100% oil is just as good as the herbs. I do want to do the herbs um, just because that's like 
what it's really for is the herbs but 100% adding essential oils heightens it not only not even for the sense of your body but also for a sense of smell because it it most definitely emits an aroma that smells good and it's like after everything I added it was smelling good this has a weird smell so by itself it really does not smell that good but for some reason when I added this to my whole concoction like I smelt it but everything that I added it with emulsified it where yes the smell was still very strong but it made the smell bearable to a point where it's like, wait, that shit kind of smelled good. So, yeah. It's crazy because um, now that I have both brakes fixed on my car, the car drives differently. Like, through all that bullshit that I dealt with, like, granted, I didn't like the way the car <laughs> was driving, but 100%... It drives differently now and like once me like getting used to how it drives differently and getting used to how it stops when I stop like I'm very happy that you know I finally got it done but it's like but why did I have to go through literally it took me damn near like if I would have still been doing this during the summertime literally it would have taken me a year just to do basic maintenance on the car because i still ain't done yet like the brakes that was the first step my tire guy thank god i have him in my life if i didn't have him in my life like i would be really worried about where i was gonna go for tires but because he is one of very few people who treat who has always treated me with respect for the fact that I'm spending money in his business. Like I already know, like there's no questions asked. Like I'm good, so I'm not worried about the tires. But the tires is my next maintenance thing that I want to do, and all of this is just specifically to get me through to my fucking hustle. Like the one thing that I always make sure is I keep up on this shit because I've been stranded one too many times because of my mom and my sister not doing what they're supposed to do to cars and it's not fun like it's not fun at all to always be that person that the car breaks down on and then you're stuck like Chuck dealing with the bullshit of what it's like to get stranded and having people just be so just Ugh, that's neither here and there, but I'm very happy that I finally got my brake six. Now we gotta get these headlights finally fucking fixed. Um, it's funny, I could have asked the guy at the uh, mechanic shop if he could do it, but I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go to the flea market. Like, everything in me, my intuition is telling me just wait till you can go to the flea market. So I'm going to go to the flea market um, where I get my oil change. The guy sent me there. Um, and he was like, because I know he has a Cadillac. So I was like, okay, where do you go to get these shits fixed? Because I am just fucking fed up. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just wait for that. Um, they're only open on the weekend. So I'm just trying to wait for a weekend that I can actually take off and go. So, and it's probably going to be sooner rather than later. So, I'm not worried about that too much. Um, I'm good. Um, so, yeah. Now, we got to go fight with the grass folks because Snoop Dogg didn't want to listen to me. But, now we got to go fight with these grass cuddles and I got to go walk the dog. Yeah, it's that bird in the VIP line with the V-turn and the Issa run. She's driving Nissan, and she in a Pima. I don't want her.